Yes, it is the big premiere, and we're live to you from the red carpet here in Corny Place. Uh, last minute uh, alterations and cleaning ups going on as we speak for the big day. There's a bit of window washing. If you own a bar right on Corny Place, you want to make sure your windows are clean for your public, who will no doubt be thronging down here later this afternoon. Because there are some who've been here all night. We've got to keep our voices down a bit, because they're still fast. Oh, no, they're waking up now. Good morning, guys. How are you all? <laughs> They're at the front. They are at the front of the queue. This queue stretches all the way down. Well, a long way down Corny Place. A couple of hundred down here at this stage. Um, I don't know if we can see this tent. There's a tent down here at the moment. These guys all just waking up. And a lot of people also in costume and fancy dress uh, for the big day. Thank you very much, uh, Peter. Yes, uh, we're just by the red carpet. These are the die-hard fans here. These guys have been here for... How long have you guys been here, roughly? Where... This is the front of the queue. When did you get here at the front of the queue? Nine last night. There you go. This is what you need to survive a night waiting for the big day. So... <laughs> oh, dear. Instant soup. Uh, a lot of water. And what have you got here? Was this takeaways? Yeah, no, that was mine. That was yours? You didn't finish it. There you go. You got some breakfast. What happened here? <laughs> I'm just going to step on your stuff. Who's this? Hello. Good morning. It, you've missed it. It finished. It's Thursday. Where are you from? Germany. Where are you from? Uh, the UK, England. Where are you from? Yeah, the UK. Where are you from? Uh, originally from Wellington, but I'm representing the Token Society of Chile. Chile, there you go. Fans gathering early along the footpath, hoping to catch a glimpse of the stars this afternoon. We love the Hobbit. We love the Lord of the Rings. We love Tolkien. Dressed in full Hobbit attire. The die-hard even camped out, making diet since 3 a.m. Yeah. yeah, not wanting to miss a minute of the action, even if that meant missing sleep. Well, we tried to get some sleep, but it, it was mostly sort of just sitting happen. down on the ground here. <laughs> Real but, uh, good. Fun on that um, sandy thing there. We had just, I had to sleep on there before for a few hours, nice and comfortable. <laughs> and closely guarding their precious spots. I don't know if we're going to let them jump in. We've no. been here early, so... We, we, we did the hard stuff. They don't deserve the right to be this close, really, eh? Fans from all around the world descending on the capital city. We love The Hobbit. We love The Lord of the Rings. We love Tolkien. Mm -hmm. We love New Zealand. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't get any better. It yeah. doesn't. And it's a world premiere. Oh, yeah, this, is, this, is, this is what I dream of doing. This is yeah. once in a lifetime experience. A chance, too, to make new friends. By mid-morning, these Tolkien fans were indulging in a second breakfast, a daily ritual for any true hobbit. It's one of the many meals the hobbit eats through the day. Um, there are various counts of how many meals they have. I, I think uh, generally people go for seven, seven meals, I think. As the day drew on, the crowds just got bigger. A combination of passionate fans and the heat from the Wellington sun ensured these stars got the warmest of welcomes. We've had Elijah Woods around, so that should be awesome. <laughs> Richard Armitage, Thorin Oakenshield. Each big name drawing cheers of delight. <laughs> For many, being at this world premiere, a dream come true. Already thousands of Hobbit fans are lining the red carpet, waiting for a glimpse of their favourite stars. We got here at 10pm and have been here ever since. <laughs> and lots with of no sleeping. Sleep. With no, no sleeping. Sleep. This group from Melbourne were the very first to arrive. Hobbits always need food. We get hungry very easily, so we thought we'd bring our own vegetables to the bash. <laughs> but an exciting night left some reaching for something stronger mid-morning and others needing a second breakfast. For many, this day has been a long time coming. Ten years ago when like the other movies came out, we'd watch the DVDs, we'd see the screaming fans and we'd want to be there. And now we are! It's good news for Wellington. The council expects more than 100,000 fans to converge here today. It is so exciting and I, can't, I just can't believe that we're here. Expected journey premiere. Tens of thousands of people are lining up along this Courtney Place strip here with the red carpet all rolled out and they're here to see the big stars of the movie. Last night. Have you really been here? Since yep, since 10 with a couch. And Crystal, you're a Kiwi, right? I am. I'm from Wellington. I'm a Wellingtonian. But where are your mates from? Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne, Australia. So you, Steph and Victoria, you have come across for this? We have. Yeah. Yeah, we're here with red carpet tours. And I hope you didn't bring that cabbage, or if you did, you declared it. I bought that one here. 
And why are you so mad on it? It's fantastic. How can you not love it? It's like your childhood. You can't not be here. What do you love about it? What is it, Victoria? We grew up with it. I mean, it's really exciting to have a world that doesn't exist, that can exist. and. Ah, it's so exciting. When we were kids, when we saw it, we wanted to be the hobbits, we wanted to be the dwarves, we wanted to we be wanted the elves. hobbit holes. <laughs> we want to live in hobbit holes. Yeah. Do you have a favourite character, Crystal? Um, it's really hard to pick, but uh, I really do love Gandalf. I think it's quite deep. Um, and I just, I'm just so proud that they've come from New Zealand. It's just such a proud thing. <laughs> Lovely to have you guys here and to be standing. I feel unworthy to be standing beside people who've been here since 10 o'clock last night. Welcome. <laughs>